Hi, a film I uh, recently noticed was uh, showing on digital TV, which I haven't happened to catch, was Duck, You Sucker, um, the rather florid title of uh, one of Sergio Leone's least known films. It's intended as the middle installment in his Once Upon a Time trilogy, preceded by Once Upon, Once Upon a Time in the West and followed by Once Upon a Time in America. And it was released in some areas as Once Upon a Time in Mexico or Once Upon a Time, The Revolution. And it's commonly known in the UK, at least, as A Fistful of Dynamite, harking back to the Dollars trilogy of A Fistful of Dollars for a Few Dollars More and the Good, the Bad and the Ugly. However, its correct title is Duck You Sucker, which Leone, who did not speak English, insisted was a common American phrase and would not be dissuaded. It's the story of two men, the patriarch of a family of Mexican bandits, and an Irish explosives expert, uh, an IRA man in exile, who uh, uneasily join forces to rob a bank, but discover that uh, they've w waded into the middle of the Mexican Revolution, uh, wind up joining in and inadvertently become heroes. It's much more lighter in tone than uh, some of Leone's other films, uh, particularly Once Upon a Time in America, which is quite a tough slog, even though this is, this is still a long film, it's almost two and a half hours. But it has a lightness of tone so that it starts as a light-hearted uh, Western adventure, albeit one set in Mexico. But over the course of the story, it gradually mutates into something else, a much more thoughtful and intelligent, politically charged film about revolution, uh, reflecting the turmoil that was underway uh, in society, particularly in the, in the West. The film even starts with a quote from Mao Zedong which you would not see at the start of a typical Western. And uh, the nature of revolution itself is very very carefully de-romanticized, the same way that the cliches of the West are de-romanticized in Leone's previous films. Two lead roles are played by Rod Steiger, who uh, plays the role in, shall we say, taco face, uh, browned up, whilst James Coburn um, has a consistently wrong-sounding Irish accent. Um, and uh, the rest of the main cast are, I think, either Mexican, Spanish, or Italian. But it's built around these two stars, and they both deliver terrific performances. Stigo in particular is extremely good. A completely, uh, totally engaging, full-blown, full-throated performance as this uh, completely disreputable bandit who somehow finds himself the hero of the revolution after accidentally releasing hundreds of political prisoners, while the uh, freedom-fighting explosives expert has gone from being an IRA terrorist um, who um, had seen his, uh, his dreams spoiled uh, in, in a story that's brushed on lightly in flashbacks, forced to flee to America when uh, the army gets too close and uh, from working as a silver prospector now turns towards becoming a uh, freedom fighter for the oppressed Mexican people. Um, it's a really engaging film. I really enjoyed it. It's very funny in places. It's very dark in others. It's very intelligent. It's structured really beautifully. The title line comes back repeatedly uh, in the film, and it's each time it has a strength and it's a, a reference. Uh, to the relationship between Juan and John, these, these two main characters. Um, the action is spectacular. It manages actually to uh, avoid gunfights. There are, there are some gunplay, but it, it's because it's set in uh, around the mid-1910s, it's much more about the mechanization of war. So it's explosives, it's tanks, it's artillery, machine guns. And um, as a result, it feels very different in tone to other Westerns. Um, I thought it was a br brilliantly written, brilliantly directed film. It's got action, it's got comedy, it has drama as the, the relationship bet between these two men goes from uh, hostility but uh, a relationship of mutual need until by the end they are close friends and compatriots, which makes the ending all the more tragic and the twist use of the uh, title at the end of the film, and the, the title isn't revealed until the the end of the film, 
it makes it so much uh, more worthwhile. I really, really liked it. I think it's my favourite of all the Leone films I've seen so far. I still haven't seen Good, the Bad and the Ugly um, or Once Upon a Time in the West, but of the others I've seen, I've, I've enjoyed this the most. I would recommend it very highly indeed. Uh, 